Do we have any first time visitors in the house this morning? If so, would you please stand? We have some May birthdays this morning. Sister Rosa Carter's birthday is on the 17th. Right. Sister Thais Jenkins is on the 23rd. Amen. Up and coming events, PGCC business meeting will be Wednesday, May the 28th at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. Women's conference and first lady's birthday celebration will be Friday, June the 6th at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, June the 8th at 3.30 p.m. All members are asked for a $25 sacrifice. We have an invitation on the 20th to Misfits Youth Summit. This will be Friday and Saturday, June the 20th and the 21st. This is sponsored by Dr. Saunders and Prophetess Johnson and will be hosted at GRU. This month also we have three graduates. The first will be Apostle Lewis Bruce. and will be at Calvary Gateway on Scott Nixon Road. We also have Darius Hall. <laughs> He'll be graduating from Lucy Laney High School. This will be May 27th at 5.30 p.m. And the last one, but not the least, is Joshua Jones. <laughs> he will be from A.R. Johnson Magnet High School. This will be May 28th at 3.30 p.m. Opportunities to worship. Sunday school is at 9.45 a.m. Sunday morning worship is at 11 a.m. Wednesday Bible study is at 7. We have first Friday worship services. This is every first Friday of every month at 7.30. Think about it. If you are strangers to prayer, you are strangers to power. Thank you. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Hallelujah. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe I better say that again. Everybody, it's offering time. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Y'all ought to be excited about giving God. Amen. Because God gave us his best. And you know who his best was? Jesus. 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 He died. For all of our hang-ups and all of our sins and all of this mess that we get ourselves into. And every time we get an opportunity to give something back to him, we ought to get excited. Now, I know you don't get excited about giving your money. Amen. But if you don't give your money to the life people, then what they do? Cut y'all. Huh? Cut y'all, bro. Now, what if God did that to us? We'll be gone. desires to give. So the only thing we ask is that you give your best. You know, it's, it's you know it's a blessing to give to God because when you give to God, that shows obedience. And it lets you know that if you can give to God your money, you can give him your heart and everything else. Amen. It's hard for us to get up all some money sometimes. Some people tell people that if you, want, you really want to get in a big fight, give somebody the wrong paycheck. I tell my employees all the time, what you make is what you make. If somebody come to my office and tell me that you get this and you get it, you won't get it no more. So in other words, what you get paid is your business. You don't need to be telling nobody else what you get. Because what you get is a blessing for what you do. And God said in his word that he's going to pay every man according to what? His works. In other words, what you do. Right? Now, when you go to your job and you get paid, you expect to get paid for what you're doing, right? Amen. So now, what about if God did that to you? I, I'm just trying to get you to think about it. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking too while I'm talking. Yes. What if God blessed us according to what we gave? Amen. What if God said, well, she only gave me a night in the office, so I'm only going to give her a dollar worth of oxygen today? Uh, it's just something, just something to make you think about. It's Sister Loretta said something really profound a few minutes ago when she said, if you don't have a prayer life, you don't have any power. Amen. Amen. And I guess that made me think about 
about something. So we even need to even bless God and even honor Him with having a prayer life. Because all that is is a conversation with Him. It's just a conversation with Him. So if you just get up in the morning and say, God, I thank you for another day. God, I thank you just for giving me life, health, and strength. That's your prayer. Your conversation with God. And He loves to hear from you. If your children, well, mine grown, didn't grow. But every now and then you like to hear him call you. So the brother, isn't it good every now and then when the children call and say, I'm just calling to say, hey, mom. Yeah. 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 I don't want nothing. I'm just calling to say, hey. Yeah. So don't y'all think God feel the same way? Yeah. Lord, I'm just calling to tell you thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. To let them know you're grateful for everything. If it ain't what you desire, but you're in a situation right now where God is blessing you, just keep on praying and talking to him. And he'll bless you. So we're going to have our faith confession for kingdom and prosperity. I didn't mean to say all that apostle because I know we're, um, you know, we have to kind of go on through the service. But we're going to stand up and we're going to read our faith confession for kingdom and prosperity. And we want you, want you all to say these. If everybody has a program, we want you to speak these words because the Bible declares that you can have what you say. And you all need to start speaking life into your situation. You may be sick and you may have to take medication, but say, I'm going to take my medication, but I'm going to take it believing in Jesus that I won't have to take it long. Amen. That's right. So you That's just right. say it and say it. Apostle said to us a few weeks ago, he's believing God that when he goes back to the doctor, they're going to take him off all his medications. Amen. So if you keep on saying it, you say it until you begin to see it manifested Amen. in the natural. Right. So if you all have your uh, faith confession at the count of three, we're going to read it together. One, two, three. Father, in Jesus' name, I confess your word over my finances this day. I give a tithe of my increase, and I claim the witness of heaven's blessings for my life. My mind is alert, and I hear your voice, and the voice of the stranger I will not follow. I receive new doors of opportunity opening for me and my family. I will always have all sufficiency in all things, and you are raising up others to use their powers, abilities, and their influences to help me. I expect daily for the Holy Spirit to speak to men and women concerning giving to me. Therefore, those whom the Spirit of God designated are free to obey and give to me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run over. I believe every need is met with heaven's best. You promise to supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I live in the best. I wear the best. I eat the best. I travel in the best. And I go first class in life. Father, I thank you that you give me and my family richly all things to enjoy. Satan, I find your activity in my life. I free the angels and ministering spirits to minister for me and bring the necessary finances for me and my family. In Jesus' name, amen. Bring your offering. Amen. Thank you.